So, over the past month or so, the mining community has been blessed to have a Chat Triggers mod made specifically for mining. And I'd like to showcase some of the really amazing features that come with this mod, like Griefer Alerts, a Natural Vein Finder, Lobby Marker, and many others. First off, the mod is made by Ninjun, who has a Twitch I'll link in the description. He also has a Discord which you can use to keep up with the ins and outs of the mod, including a roadmap for future features, which will also be linked in the description. So make sure to check him out, he really deserves it. Alright, so how do you get this mod? If you don't already know about Chat Triggers, it's this amazing mod that allows you to basically import other mods that have been uploaded to Chat Triggers with one command, using slash ct import then whatever mod. I'll link the official site for where you download it in the description. So, once you have chat triggers, you'll want to run the aforementioned command of slash ct import colwait. Then, you have the mod. It's that simple. Before I get into the various really useful features of this mod, I'd like to take a moment to complain about something. Do you see the difference between this number and this number? Yes, one is 3000 higher than the other one, and I request that this be fixed immediately. I can't be out here getting ratioed by my own Discord. Anyways, back to the video. I'm going to separate the features into two sections. Features useful for armadillo mining, and features that are still really cool but don't pertain specifically to it. I've timestamped both sections if you want to jump around. I'll start with features that don't pertain to armadillo mining. So the first feature here I'd like to go over is the coal weight tracker. If you haven't already, you should definitely check out my coal weight video to learn what coal weight is, but I'll do a brief explanation here. Basically, it's like senator weight, but for mining. Overflow is not devalued, and it tracks a ton of things like experience, collections, scotha kills, nucleus runs, and many other mining-related things. With that out of the way, this feature simply tells you how much coal weight you are getting per hour. Take note that this tracker takes about 3 minutes to update every time, because there's simply just a limit as to how many times you can check someone's API. This shouldn't be a problem if you're doing sessions longer than 10 minutes, though. For people who don't really care about coal weight but still want to track what they're doing, there's also the collection tracker. This does exactly what it sounds like. You pick a collection and the tracker will track it for you. This one is also sadly only able to update every 3 minutes, but it is so worth it. What's pretty common knowledge is that the gemstone specific stats like professional and fortunate don't show in your stats menu, for obvious reasons. Well, there's a feature that adds this number to the right of your mining speed and mining fortune, just so you don't have to do that extra math to know exactly where you are in mining speed and fortune. Along with this, there's a feature that adds a block ticks stat into your menu, which allows you to select any block in game and it will tell you at what tick you're breaking it at. Finally, one of my favorite features that I requested myself, rank chat. This shows your coal weight rank next to your name in chat and is customizable if it will only show in the Dwarven Mines and Crystal Hollows or everywhere in Skyblock. It will show other people's ranks as well, so you can flex to the lobby that you're high ranking or whatever. The rank will only show if you're top 500, so only the elites get a rank in chat. A downside to this feature is that it will make the emojis you type, like the waving emoji with MVP++ I'm showing on screen, turn white instead of their original color, but I think it's a worthy sacrifice. Alright, so now for the armadillo features. One ridiculously useful feature, specifically for methods that require you to swap lobbies a lot, is the marked lobbies feature, which tells you if you've been in a lobby in that session already. I cannot express how useful this is for armadillo mining in specific, as it allows you to rule out a lot of lobbies right off the bat. Another thing for armadillo mining is a feature that tells you when a known griefer joins your lobby. If you create a ticket in my server, Mining Call, link in the description, and have definitive evidence of someone griefing you and you being first in the lobby, we will add them to the griefer list. This list of right now is insanely large, sadly, but it's pretty nice to know when someone who might be about to grief you joins your lobby. A feature that goes really well in conjunction with the griefer alerts is the timer mod, which helps a ton in proving you were first in the lobby. It just starts a timer whenever you join a lobby, it's pretty simple. For armadillo beginners, there's also a relative waypoints mod, which allows you to stand on a certain block in an armadillo structure, run a command, and it will automatically waypoint every unprotected vein in the structure. There are also a few other relative waypoint systems like Mines of Devon Treasure Spawns and Ballerina Yog Spawns. Finally, a huge feature for armadillo mining is the Naturals feature, which basically allows you to see every natural vein in the precursor remnants within a 16 to 64 block range of yourself. Which makes finding natural veins, which you'll need to mine if you're good enough to run out of structure veins for armadillo mining, really easy. 
Some of you may be thinking that this is just rebranded ESP, but it's not. Ninjun and Dragoon Master took around 12 hours marking down chords, and I'm showing the document on screen, just to import them into this module. So it's basically just SkyTool's waypoints that only show in a range around you. Not a cheat. Alright, I think that about wraps this mod up. There are a few more features that I didn't go over in this video, and the mod is constantly being updated with super cool things, so I encourage you to explore it for yourself. Thanks so much for sticking with me, as I just gushed about every feature, but I really do love this mod. Once again, a big thanks to Ninjun for making it, and I hope you all enjoy the features.